Hello, how to solve 9 power t plus 9 power t plus 9 power t equals 999. We are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. Now, we can factor out 9 power t because we have it here, here, and here. So you have 9 to the power of t times 9 power t divided by 9 power t is 1 plus 9 power t divided by 9 power t is 1 plus 9 power t divided by 9 power t is 1 and this equals 9, 9, 9. So we have 9 power t times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 and this equals 9, 9, 9. So from here, we can divide each part of this equation by this 3. So you have this divided by 3 and this divided by 3. 3 cancels 3. We have 9 power t equals 999 divided by 3 is 3, 3, 3. So from here, what we are going to do is to express 9 as 3 to the power of 2. Remember, 9 is 3 times 3, so we have 3 to the power of 2. And this is raised to the power of t equals 3. 3, 3. Now, if you have a power n, all power m, this equals a power n times m. So we apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have 3 to the power of 2 times t, that is 2t equals 3, 3, 3. So from here, what we can do again is to introduce log so that we can solve for t. We take log of 3 to the power of 2t equals log of 3, 3, 3. Now, according to this identity, if you have log of a to the power of b, this equals b times log of a. So we apply this identity. If you notice clearly, the b comes behind the log. So that means 2t here will come behind the log. We have 2t times log of 3 equals log of 3, 3, 3. Now from here, what we are going to do again is to divide each part of this equation by log of 3. We divide this by log of 3. So log of 3 eliminates log of 3. From here, we are going to have 2t equals log of 3, 3, 3 divided by, we have log of 3. Now from here, what we can do again is we can have 2t equals log of 3, 3, 3 simply means we have 3 times 1, 1, 1. And this is divided by, we have log of 3. Now from here, we are going to apply this other identity. If you have log of a times b, this equals log of a plus log of b. So we are going to apply this identity right here. Now let's go ahead and do that. So from here, we are going to have 2t equals, this is log of 3 plus log of 1, 1, 1, making use of this identity, we have divided by log of 3. Now, we can simply have 2t equals log of 3. Let's divide each by log of 3. We have log of 3 divided by log of 3 plus 
log of 1, 1, 1 divided by log of 3. Now from here, we are going to have 2t equals log of 3 divided log of 3. We have 1 plus, here is log of 1, 1, 1. We can express it as log of, this is 3 times 37. divided by log of 3. So 3 times 37 is 1, 1, 1. Now from here, we are going to have 2t equals 1 plus, right here, we need to apply the same identity that we applied earlier on. If you have log of a times b, this equals, we are going to have log of a plus you have log of b. The same identity that we used earlier on. Now, that is exactly what we are going to apply right here. That means we are now going to have, this will be log of 3 plus log of 37, and this is divided by log of 3. So from here, we are going to have 2t equals 1 plus, we can divide each of these terms by log of 3. We have log of 3 divided by log of 3 plus log of 37 divided by log of 3. So from here, we are going to have 2t equals 1 plus log of 3 divided log of 3. We have 1 plus log of 37 divided by log of 3. So from here, we are going to have 2t equals 1 plus 1 is 2 plus this is log of 37 divided by log of 3. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to apply this other identity. If you have log of a divided by log of b, this equals log of a to the base of b. So we are going to apply this identity right here. That means we are simply going to have 2t equals 2 plus this is log of 37 to the base of 3. So from here, we can easily solve for t. What we need to do is we divide this by 2. We divide this by 2. So 2 eliminates 2. We are simply going to have t equals we have 2 plus log of 37 to the base of 3, and this is divided by 2. So from here, we are going to have t equals, we can have 2 divided by 2 plus log of 37 to the base of 3 divided by 2. So from here, 2 divided by 2 is 1. This cancels this. So we are going to have t equals 1 plus this is log of 37 to the base of 3 divided by 2. So this is our answer. And this is the value of t that will satisfy that equation. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to check so we need to insert that value for t if it's going to satisfy our equation. Remember, our t equals, we have 1 plus log of 37 to the base of 3 divided by 2. So let's insert this if it's going to satisfy that equation. So let's recopy the problem. We have 9 power t plus 
9 power t plus 9 power t equals 9, 9, 9. And our t is this. So we are going to substitute that for t. We are going to have 9 to the power of 1 plus log of 37 to the base of 3. And this is divided by 2. Then we have plus 9 times or 9 to the power of 1 plus log of 37 to the base of 3 and this is divided by 2 and we have plus 9 to the power of this we have 1 plus log of 37 to the base of 3 divided by 2 and this equals 999 question mark now what we are going to do is we can simply have this as if you have a plus a plus a this equals 3a so we do the same thing here that means we are going to have 3 times 9 to the power of 1 plus log of 37 to the base of 3 divided by 2. So that covers the whole of this. Is this equals 999? Question mark. So from here, what we are going to do is we can express this 9 as 3 to the power of 2. So we have 3 times 3 to the power of 2. And this will then multiply 1 plus log of 37 to the base of 3. This is divided by 2. Is this equals 999? Question mark. So, at this point, what we are going to do is we have 3 times 3 to the power of, let's use this 2 to multiply. We have 2 times 1. That is 2 plus 2 times this. We are going to have 2 log of 37 to the base of 3 divided by 2. Then is this equals 999 question mark. So from here we are going to have 3 times 3 to the power of these two. We'll eliminate these two. We are going to have 2 plus log of 37 to the base of 3 is this equals 999 question mark now let's go ahead and apply this identity if you have a to the power of n plus m this equals a power n times a power m so we apply this identity right here that means we are simply going to have this is 3 times this is 3 to the power of 2 we now have times 3 to the power of log of 37 to the base of 3 is this equals 999 question mark so at this point what we are going to do is to apply this identity if you have a to the power of log of b to the base of a this equals b we take note of this identity so this is 3 to the power of log of 37 to the base of 3 that means what we are going to get will be 37 so in the end what we are going to have is simply remember this is 3 times 3 power 2 let me write it down here we have 3 times 3 to the power of 2 times this is 3 to the power of log of 37 to the base of 3. We have 3 to the power of log of 37 to the base of 3 equals 999 question mark. And from this particular identity right here, that means what we are going to get here is just this 37 using this identity. So we come over here. That means the only thing we are going to have left here is this 37 here so we have 3 times 3 to the power of 2 is 9 times 
this is 37 is this 999 nine, nine. question mark so three times nine we have 27 times 37 equals 999 nine, nine. and definitely 27 times 37 will give you 999 nine, nine. and this equals 999 nine, nine. so ladies and gentlemen that is it and that is the end of the video and i believe you enjoyed every step please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends thank you and goodbye see you again